And no, he won't. <laughs>
The victory's clear was laid in 1759, but she wasn't completed until 1765 at Chatham. She's just inside the dockyard gate, and if you're coming back through Portsmouth and you've got the time to spare, you might find a visit to the victory well worthwhile. A Matlow or a Marine will show you range and answer all of your questions, and a tour of the ship takes about 45 minutes. That's the victory of the boat. We'll see you in a minute. You can't you don't know what I'm talking about at the moment. She's behind the brick, brick building ahead of us. We'll see more of her in a moment. The first ship, the first ship we're coming, first ship we're coming to, missiles on midships, the medium range French intercept missile on her forward deck, and two 4.5 inch guns. During the campaign in the Falklands last year, she received an unexploded bomb in her engine room, and she was also present in South Georgia when Argentina surrendered on board the Plymouth. The uh, Antrim has now been, or is in the process of being sold to Chile, the cost of five million pounds. This is the Antrim, the first ship. And when we go by the bays of the Antrim, look into your right, and you'll see the victory in dry dock. As I said, she received an unexploded bomb in her engine room last year and she's now to be sold to Chile. On the stern deck of the launches of the Sea Slug missile system, Sea Cat missiles are mission, the medium range French Epsilon missile on her forward deck and two 4.5 inch guns. And then up ahead of the Antrim, two Type 42 Sheffield class destroyers, the Birmingham and the Southampton. And they've just recently returned from a second tour of duty in the state of Atlantic. These are Type 42 Sheffield class destroyers, three days and 600 tons, powered by the Rolls-Royce Olympus and Sign engine. That's the same engine that powers the Concorde. When we go by the base of the Antrim, look into your right, and you'll see the Victory in dry dock. The Victory painted the orange and the black. She was painted at the time of Trafalgar. In 1815, all ships were painted black and white. When the victory was dried up in 1922, 